What's good, my peeps? Big Rock coming right back at you with another action figure review, this time courtesy of Marvel Legends. What we have here is another addition to our VHS 90s X-Men, the cartoon I'm talking about, that line right there. We have Marvel's Mystique, as you can see right there on the plastic-free packaging which is in the uh, spirit of uh, old school VHS tapes. You see the uh, artwork there. And then here's where it really shows the uh, VHS motif. Look at the bottom there, it looks like it's a, a slip sleeve. You've got uh, more of that, uh, the logo, X-Men Marvel's Mystique on one side. Same thing going on on the other, you've got the logo what have you on top and in the back one of the last few sets where we get a readout X-Men Marvel's Mystique the mutant shapeshifter known only as Mystique uses her powers to infiltrate and undermine the X-Men so it must be taking it from the uh, cartoon because she isn't only known as Mystique anyone that knows about the X-Men and their lore and their villains in particular, know that uh, Mystique's name, her real name, is Raven Darkholm. So, uh, but I digress. I don't think uh, Raven Darkholm was ever uh, mentioned in the cartoon, so that's where they're taking their cues from. Anyhow, you see uh, Mystique uh, standing right there next to the packaging, which is fortunate because since uh, the packaging is, uh, you can't see the figure, it's okay to take the figure out beforehand uh, when introducing said character in these reviews. So uh, now that you've seen the box and you can see Mystique uh, looking back at us, let's get her on the base and see what's going on. And what's going on with Mystique at first glance is uh, this is just a straight up reissue. It's the uh, same exact figure at the very least from the neck down in every way save the paint apps which is usually the only way they reissue things they change the paint up and on occasion we'll get a different uh, some different parts but uh, the only part that we'll get different in this regard would be the head sculpt and I'll have to check on further inspection if even that's the case but we won't know that until we get Mystique off the base but she has been uh, uh, updated uh, her paint apps have been updated to reflect the uh, cell shading that is the MO of the VHS line. We'll see that a little bit closer too when we get her off the base, but before we do that I need you guys to go down below and hit that like button and while you're down there you can go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so already. Help support the channel. And while you guys are doing that, what I'll be doing is showing you the accessories that Mystique comes with. First up, Mystique comes up with an additional set of hands. You see these are a uh, trigger finger hands they have the cell shading on them you see that molded in white but they've got the uh, cell shading right there on the uh, the opposable thumbs she also comes with this hand weapon we've seen this before only not molded in this uh, shade of blue here Mystique also comes with this fire on this long range weapon we've seen this before too once again just never before molded in this color Mystique also comes with baby Nightcrawler here. You see, you know, got the they uh, adjusted. He's got the uh, the pointed ears. At least they look a little barbed there and a blue. We've also seen this before. This is really a uh, baby Hulk. We've seen this in the uh, Old Man Logan release from a uh, few years back. Okay, we've got uh, Mystique off of the rotating base. Looking at her close up. So the first thing we're going to examine is that head sculpt. I'm going to bring in the Walgreens exclusive, our first offering from Hasbro of Mystique. Immediately the hair color is different and the hairstyle is also different. The skull at the top of the head, our uh, cell shaded Mystique, the uh, skull is uh, like a gold color, whereas it's silver on the Walgreens exclusive. They uh, both are sporting the uh, the pupilless gold eyes, even though the uh, 
Walgreens exclusive version is a little bit darker. Try to see if those are the same head sculpts or not. I, I, it's uh, really difficult to say. I think, I believe, yeah, they're the same head sculpt. It's the hair that's uh, just changing the whole dynamic. So it's the same head sculpt. The only thing that's been changed on the uh, Walgreens, or excuse me, the VHS version is the hair. It's amazing what a hairstyle can do to a, to a face, even one molded in plastic. But uh, yeah, that's, the, uh, that's what that looks like. I'm going to take uh, the Walgreens Mystique out of the uh, frame now so we can have a better look at this uh, Mystique here. And uh, we'll uh, go over the differences in a moment. But we're going to go down and you see that uh, the cell shading is right there. Well, we're rocking what we'll call under boob there. <laughs> and then you've got uh, cell shading on her left side. Looking at her left arm, you see that it's there. You see the cell shading uh, right there. On the right, got the same thing going on. And that cell shading goes uh, on the left side all the way down her skirt piece, as you can see there. Her uh, belt is it's loose. It's part of the... Uh, the skirt piece right there and you see it's uh, molded or I should say painted excuse me painted in a uh, like a uh, a, uh, a yellowish color there it's a belt a ring of skulls as you can see there goes all the way around Mystique is sporting badunka dunk it looks like and uh, then we go further down looking at the legs and we've got cell shading on her right leg. It's on the interior of that as well as on the left leg, on the interior and on the boots as well, the shoes. So uh, that's what we got going on as far as that's concerned. Looking at both versions of Mystique side by side, you see the differences. We already discussed the hair. You also have the uh, skulls, our, uh, our VHS version the uh, skull on the uh, on her forehead gold whereas on the Walgreens exclusive it's silver you see that they are both uh, you know they're different tones Walgreens is a uh, a more vibrant deeper darker kind of blue whereas the uh, the VHS version is uh, more um, I'd say reminiscent of the cartoon I believe and uh, it's a uh, a lighter blue kind of like a grayish blue if you will to uh, try to give a description of what that uh, what that would actually be so you'd see that they uh, nothing else really has changed you got the the differences in the belts they're both a, uh, a belt of skulls on the Walgreens they're uh, colored more um, more gold whereas on our VHS they're more of a yellow of course you've got the cell shading on the uh, the skirt piece there and uh, there really is nothing else that's different when you think about it it uh, does kind of appear that uh, our VHS version is uh, sporting a little more package back there but that could just be how I've got it uh, posed maybe I've got her with her uh, you know her backside jutting out it's still the same figure they both uh, pinned swiveled uh, you know got the swiveling elbow single jointed elbows and the pinned double jointed knee so there's nothing different about that so uh, that's about it there is uh, no other uh, differences really to speak of here we have Mystique holding baby Nightcrawler She's probably uh, on her way to the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the embankment from which she tossed Kurt, baby Kurt, in to save her own skin. So it's, uh, it's pretty uh, hilarious that they included a baby Nightcrawler in this set. Here we have all of our VHF themed figures from the beginning all the way until uh, Mystique right here. We've got, uh, starting on our far left, we've got Morph, Jubilee, Storm, 
Then on the other side of Mystique, we've got Wolverine, Jean Grey, and Mr. Sinister. So, yep, we're, uh, we're a little shy on the villains, unless, of course, you count Morph as one. And uh, when I finally get my VHS display, which I do not have yet, I will be displaying him as a villain just to try to uh, even this ratio out. So to sum it all up, the Hasbro Marvel Legends VHS X-Men 90s cartoon series Mystique, another, uh, another uh, addition to our uh, self-shaded VHS line. It's just a... Uh, a repaint, a straight up repaint. The only thing different other than the paint apps is Mystique's hairstyle and hair color, of course. But uh, there are other colors there too. It's got the cell shading. The cell shading, in my estimation, doesn't really translate well on this figure, but that's been my general opinion for most of uh, the uh, figures in this line. The only one where the cell shading seems to really do its job in my opinion is on Wolverine. Wolverine actually looks like the cartoon especially if you like when you look at him try to look beyond him if that makes any sense and he, he definitely looks like the uh, the cartoon. Storm's costume uh, the uh, cell shading what's supposed to pass for cell shading on the on her costume to me just looks like it's a different design for the costume which I do like so as uh, far as everyone else it's uh, meh at best so you know it is what it is uh, mystique she uh, comes with uh, as you see I got her posed with baby nightcrawler there which is uh, once again I find that uh, hilarious considering that uh, she with a quickness abandoned through baby Kurt into the uh, lake river whatever it was to uh, save her own skin I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, talk about uh, a nurturing mother there. But anyway, she comes with that, a couple sets of weapons and an additional pair of hands. So, you know, fair amount of uh, accessories for her, considering. We have one more figure for this line before they shut it down and move it over to Spider-Man themed figures. And that'll be Cyclops. Uh, we should get him before the end of the year. And... Uh, then uh, yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have our full set of VHS uh, for the time being. They, uh, meaning Hasbro, said they'll move away, but they didn't say they were shutting it down per se. Just you know, pausing for a little while. So uh, yeah, so well, and that'll be that for that. And uh, as far as that'll be that for that, that's it for this review. Please like, share, and subscribe. Definitely support the channel. Leave your comments below, questions, concerns, critiques. You know I'm here for them. You want to be notified when I upload another video. You uh, can uh, do so by hitting that bell down there. And uh, notified you shall be. Uh, Mystique is going to be the last video I put up for a minute because as I'm... Uh, as 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 this is being uh viewed by you guys i'm on vacation and have been for the duration of the uh of the uh disney plus wave so uh yeah everything was uh uploaded uh preemptively to try to uh allow me to stay relevant so uh it'll be about four or five days between this review and whatever comes next so uh you all uh, have a happy holiday because I won't see you guys until after the holiday is over. And uh, we will be back like Arnold. So uh, on behalf of Mystique, Baby Nightcrawler there, and myself, the Ruckness Monster, I leave you with this. Remember, the hunt continues. And I'm out. Peace.